Hey, Fizz C. Campbell here. In this video, we're going to look at using Gauss's law for infinite lines of charge, which we can't use for finite lines of charge. Why? Well, we'll talk about it. So if we have a infinite line of charge, a long line of charge, that has a linear charge density lambda, um, we can use Gauss's law. Now, we have to use a surface that has symmetry to our charge distribution. And what's more symmetric to a line of charge than a big cylinder, like a can on its side? Now, why can we use a cylinder for a infinite line of charge if I can't use it for a small line of charge? Well, when we use Gauss's law, all right, we don't want to do any fancy, crazy integrals. We want the area vector to be perpendicular to the surface for the electric field and the area vector, all right, because it's a dot product. So if we use a cylinder, we have a far up infinite line of charge, right, then the electric field is just going to radiate out uh, or in, depending upon what it's charged with. But if it's positive charge, it's going to radiate out. And then the electric field is going to be perpendicular to the surface. And because it's the electric field, right, is going to be like this and like this. And if I could draw in 3D like this, but I can't, there's no electric field penetrating that top of the can, just through the sides of the can. And so this is going to make it easier for it. Because if we had a finite line of charge, right, then we would have electric field that would be radiating like out at angles from the surface. And so not for finite lines of charge. Those are those fun integrals we get to do. Um, but for an uh, infinite line of charge, absolutely. So Gauss's law, right, the surface integral of E dot dA is equal to Q enclosed over E naught. Now, the, remember that the A, this area, is the area of our imaginary surface, not the actual line of charge. It's our imaginary, did I spell it right? Sometimes I just wonder. Uh, imaginary surface, which is this beautiful purple soup can looking thing. That's my Gaussian surface. And the area of a cylinder is pi, uh, 2 pi r times L. Now, this L is the L of my imaginary cylinder. It is not the L of my line of charge. It's just not that. Okay. So the when I set up my integral here, right? So it's not really an integral because the electric field is constant. So that's just E. My area is going to be this, but this is of my imaginary surface. So the area of a cylinder is 2 pi r l. I'm going to make a little cursive l. That represents this l. Um, and it's the area of the outside of the cylinder, not the surface, like not these pieces here. Um, and then that's equal to the enclosed charge. Well, what's the enclosed charge? Well, we have a linear charge density here. So that means that my Q enclosed is equal to the linear charge density times the length. And again, that's the length enclosed by my Gaussian surface. That's how much charge is enclosed by that Gaussian surface. So for a Q enclosed, we're going to put our linear charge density lambda times L, and of course, over our friend E naught. Hmm, that's interesting. Look at this. The L's cancel. And so the electric field for an infinite line of charge uh, of a linear charge density lambda is lambda over 2 pi E naught R. Now, if you go back uh, when we were doing the integrals um, in class and we did for the... the finite line of charge. Remember, I asked you, what if L was super long, the length of the, the finite line of charge? Well, we got that, that equation right there. Or that equation, I guess. I'm pointing. The, there we go. Uh, that equation. So a uh, little symmetry. Isn't that sweet? All right. So in line, in, infinite lines of charge, we use a cylinder because cylinders are symmetric to our line of charge. Our electric field then only points out of the sides of the soup can, not the ends of the can. 
Um, so I need the area of 2 pi r l. That l is the imaginary surface. So the l's are going to cancel. Life is good. We got an electric field for an infinite line of charge. All right. You got any questions? Ask me in class.